guys, my name is Lisa Grace and this is Nailcomer's YouTube channel. I hope you enjoy this video. May or may not have just had an accident with the hair <laughs> <with> the pigments. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Um, Hold on. Just don't, don't touch anything. Don't touch anything, Sam. Um, just because otherwise that's going to get over something. Right, I, we are going to get in a mess. This is going to happen. We're already in a mess. Oh my goodness. Right, I've lit. This is just, <laughs> it's just spreading. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Right. Um, where's the others? Where's the top of it? There yeah. we are. Right, I'm going to try and not get that all over anything else. I'm sorry, right, I don't want to use. I don't want to lose which one. It's all right, Sam. Sam, it's great. Uh, I'm sorry. Right, <laughs> move it out of the way because I can see that. No, because I'm going to. I'm going to use it in a minute. <laughs> oh my god, guys! Right, Sam, don't, I'm just Sam, it Sam, don't I'm touch it. Knock Sam, it. don't touch it. Leave it. Right, mail is on. Pay attention, Lisa. Mail is on. Full cover tip, ballerina long. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we've used. Um, one base coat, two coats of rose quartz. That's the nude that we've got on. And now I'm going to come in and add one coat of velvet matte, and then clean up a little bit more of this um, pigment that seems to have got everywhere. Right. So you want your velvet matte just because because we because 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 because. because. Uh, we're going to be adding, oh, bloody floof, guys. Can you tell it's the last video? Everything's going Pete Tong. Um, because we're adding pigment, we need that velvet base. Friggin' floof! Lisa! What? I said friggin'. Mm -hmm. I'm allowed to say friggin'. Telling me you're off. It's my video. Flipping, is that better? Is that less controversial? Yeah. Right, flipping fluff. Um, okay, get it in the lamp. Oh, I need to sort my life out. Right. I've got these pigment pigments. These ones. No idea what they're called on the website. It might be pigment stacker number two. Just, just as a guess. Uh, but this right here is the most ridiculous, I mean, you can see it's everywhere. It's the most ridiculously beautiful coral I've ever seen in my entire life. Now, that, that's probably looking like neon orange, but I guarantee you it isn't. It is, I mean, it's borderline like pinky orange. Uh, bang that out, Sam. But it is hella bright. And hella everywhere. But, yeah, <laughs> absolutely <laughs> everywhere. Right, so I'm using an old eyeshadow brush. I'm just picking up a small amount. Gonna blow off some excess, and I'm just gonna press this into the middle of the nail in the same spot. <sighs> same spot. Back into my pigment again. <sighs> blow off any excess. Press into the same spot. And I'm gonna repeat. <sighs> blow, rinse, repeat. That's what I'm gonna do. Same spot, keep patting. Same spot, keep patting. That's a big ass fly. <laughs> so how big you take this is completely up to you. You can just leave it lo localized in the middle of the nail. You can do the whole nail if you want. It's a gorgeous colour. Do the whole nail. <laughs> I think it would look really nice with the um, orange on the that you have with that O2. To do what? Just to ombre it slightly. What, around the edge? Mm. Yeah? Yeah. I'll give it a go. I'm just going to use my finger. Just press that in there. It doesn't seem to want to take there for some reason. It's a bit better. So you want me to ombre around the edge? Yeah. See how it goes. Okay. Well, yeah. Ooh. I'll give it a go. It could look good. So, oh man, it's getting yeah. It's the best one as well, and I've lost like half of it. 
Right, so you think this top one? Yeah. That one. Now that's hollow orange. All the way around the edge. Yeah. Like this. Max, babe. Because now you've got that sort of sunset effect. Yeah, tequila sunrise. Max, babe. I am going to have to go back in and add a bit more of that coral though. I mean, this is not what I was going to do, but I like it. Yeah. I was, Max, Max, Max. Stop. I'm trying to film. Don't want to be hearing you licking in the background. No, we don't. Yeah, I was. You should have just picked some up off your mat. <laughs> I was just going to leave it nude. But uh, actually, I quite like that. Yeah, that's not at all what I was going to do. But I like it. Um, well, seeing as we're now doing things that I wasn't going to do, what top coat should we whack on it? I was going to go for a normal top coat, but um, I don't think we should do that. We've got the satins in the black and the white. Satin in the black, because we can make it look like the sunset that we're going for. Oh, I don't know about that. Don't know about that. It's a bit speckly, isn't it? Um, however, there is the flakes. I've got oh, the gold. Oh, my God. Gold flakes. Gold. This is not where I was going with this nail at all. Um, alchemy. That was it. The velvet alchemy. So they've got this in silver, rose gold and gold. So it's the velvet top coat, but it has the coloured flakes added to it. So this is the gold one. So, if we put the lids on them before we do anything I don't else. Know. Yeah, maybe. Does it make a difference? <laughs> well, it's a bit late for any of that. Uh, yeah, let's see how this looks. If it looks crap, I'm blaming you. If it looks amazing, I'm taking full credit. <laughs> so this does go matte. However, I really, oh, I really like that glossy as well. So don't forget, obviously, if you don't want matte finish. You can literally gloss top coat after this, which, uh, as it stands, this is going to get a um, gloss top coat finish because that is beautiful. That is fit. Um, right, just bang that in the lamp. I don't know what to do on top of this now, though, Sam, because what I was going to do won't go with this. What were you going to do? I was going to do, like, little white stars. So it was just going to be a nude nail mm -hmm. with the coral centre. And I was going to do, like, little white stars and make it all look really pretty. Now we've gone in a completely... <laughs> different direction um, i've never used this one i've used the rose gold one and i've used the silver one but i've never used this one before i'm either gonna love this or hate we this we can put a couple of little stars right at the end white stars because it's almost like a sunset but i don't know how that's going to I, don't I don't know oh i don't know whether i like it more glossy or matte now what do you think I mean, obviously, it's a mess because oh, I've got I bloody pigment know. everywhere. I don't know. I don't know. I don't oh, know I like I that. Right, I'm going to have to pause the video, guys. I need to put my thinking cap on one sec. Um, we've, we've just decided we're going to kind of wing it on the crystal front. Because um, this, I love this, the velvet mats. Uh, I'm all right. for that. So I've just fished out, literally just, I thought, you know what, let's just get some badass statement crystals. And let's have a bit of fun with some crystal placement. Right, so a big dollop of crystal totalis. Crystalis totalis. Get in there. So I usually do three large crystals all back to, to each other and set that. So pop that in the lamp for me then, please. Um, so three crystals back to back, all huddled together. And then, I mean, point. lots of people don't use point back crystals. Um, but these are brilliant. As long as they're all huddled, they kind of like get this herd mentality and they all look after one another. 
uh, and they can actually last longer than your flat back crystals um because you know they're like best friends they all stick together and look out for one another so i've just got a small selection you can't see them because my camera doesn't want to work today there you go uh small selection of some pointy backs and then some flat backs next to it uh and so in in all these little nooks and crannies so like down here for example let's focus uh, i'm gonna pop a dollop of crystallis totalis i'm gonna pick up one of my pointer backs and i'm gonna nestle that in there so same again max is going for a run in his sleep same again up here there's a big old gap there i've got a big pink crystal that we can wedge in there fabulous and then that's next to that next to that i'm going to use a slightly smaller pointer back and just god it's been so long know. since i've had crystals like this yeah. right bang that in the lamp so they're your your core cuddling crystals core cuddling crystals that's what we're going to roll with um so now as we move out of there i use top coat or do i stick with a cristalis totalis uh, oh, I might use some. What about a couple of these? Just for a bit of. Well, what ones did you get there? They're they, AB ones. They're just they? two ABs. It's a bit of a mashup. We're just winging it. Right, bang that out. I've got more crystals to write to me. I love that colour combination because yeah, obviously beautiful. you've got your pinks and there's slightly orange hues in there as well. This one up here is one of my favourites. I think this is like a. So pearlescent. Yeah, so I think. I know you've got your pink opal, your blue opal, so this one, I think that's a white opal. I think, I think, I think. Um, right, so again, now we've still got nooks and crannies, but they're a lot smaller, and this is where I'm going to wedge the... Um, flat backs. That's the word I'm looking for, the flat backs. So, very small amount of crystal totalis. Pop that in there. Pick up your crystal, whichever size you're going to choose to use. And literally shove that under there. So half of it gets covered up. And all of these, so long as you're filling in all these little gaps, these these I guarantee you these crystals will last. Last and last and last. I used to do crystal clusters all the time, and clients would be like, oh, they're not gonna last. Well, yes, they will. And you can guarantee three, four weeks later they come back and every single crystal still in place right let's get a dinky one in here just gonna fill the gaps i've got this little pearly square thingy that i want to use again just to mix it up a little bit so i'm gonna use that and i'm gonna wedge the corner in there you definitely just need to max you kind of need to roll with it when you're um throwing your crystals on don't think about it too much i need a different color though don't think about it too much just chuck them on because the minute you start faffing with unless you're going for specific placement the oh, minute you ones, yeah those. the minute you start faffing and overthinking things see then just see it just doesn't look right and even if it doesn't look right who matters uh right no don't bang that in i want to shove so like under here i'm going to put a crystal under here like you're not even going to see it because it's going to be so far under there however it's going to protect that big crystal Let's get a couple of these little dinky ones. They're going to go right under there. You're not even going to see them. But it will help. It fills that hole underneath yeah. there as well. So the shine. Right. Bang them in. And then I think I'm going to add maybe, do you think some caviar beads? In gold. Just a few. 
whatever you think. I I'm just happy I've got crystals. <laughs> she got a bling. <coughs> um, let's just chuck them somewhere. They're all right. They're not. They're not Swarovskis. It's okay. I'm not gonna cry. Have you seen how many crystals I've got, babe? I tried to think. I've got oh, trays and trays, and trays, trays and trays. Trays and trays of crystals what going as well. For? What are we going for? Gold. Gold carry What? Are they here? Uh, are they the rose gold ones? Yeah. So, no. Them ones. Uh, oh, I've got gold. stupid amount. Like, it's not even funny. So, bearing in mind, I used to have a salon. And there was like six of us working there. And I used to supply all the products. So, um, you used to also sell them as well because that's yes, where I got all of my crystals. Um, yeah, so I had a, a lot, have a lot of products because I had a lot of nail techs working for me. Lisa, yeah, what top coat are you using? The right one, Sam. Don't worry, the right one. I'm using regular top coat, but I'm being very, very careful with my placement. So, I'm using the top coat on my brush. To pick up my caviar beads, to coat the caviar beads in said top coat, if it allows me to pick them up, and then I can very carefully pop them where I want them. As long as you're not overzealous with your top coat, then um, they'll stick. Not a problem. I'm going to pop the odd one on the inside as well. Um, I may need to. Make sure you don't too much. Just pop a little bit of top coat actually on top of them. Just to, I'm going to pinch them because I dropped them on you. And I'm not going too heavy with uh, the caviar beads as well because you can get quite, <laughs> you get quite addictive adding the caviar beads. And next thing you know, it's all caviar bead. You can't see the nail anymore. There's no orange on this nail because it's just all caviar bead. <laughs> But I'm going to pop a couple, couple down here, and then I think, I think that'll be it then. So look at the contrast with all that, all the burning yeah. This uh, this, the this nude and pink nails come out really nice. <laughs> Sorry, I just saw that orange and just oh, you didn't have to go with the orange. You could have stayed with right, it. Chuck it in the lamp. Chuck it in the lamp. <laughs> oh well, I like how things grow organically. That. And that's what I mean, makes you an artist. An uh, no, I just, no, I just wing it, babe. <laughs> Take the compliment, That's what Lisa. makes me Take a mess. Take the compliment that it was meant to be. I can't I actually can't remember the last time. We've a nail, no, like a that. nail has turned out exactly how I want it. You know, where I've got something in my head, I'm like, this is, is exactly how this nail is going to look. I'm always changing things and messing around, and this is not. This is so far. From what I plan to do, it's to do. not even it's not even remotely close. I was going for this really sweet, soft, gentle nude with a little pop of colour, some little twinkles added to it, and that's not this. However, I would choose this nail. I would choose all the this time. nail. Yeah, sweet all bomb. the time. Look at that blue, 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 blue. Oh, blue, look blue, at blue, that sparkle. Shiny. Um, side note as well, whenever I'm doing crystal clusters, I always make sure it's on the inside of any finger. So um, if I was going to do it on any of these fingers, I'd make sure on these three fingers, it's tucked on the inside here. On a ring finger, I'm going to tuck it on the inside here. That way, when Sam uses her hand and goes to pick things up, it's going to be this side of her thumb that picks anything up. So it reduces the risk of her catching them. But, but again, because they're all huddled, if I can get you to look at top view, they all sit nice and flush with one another and uh what i will do is i'm gonna i'll try and remember in about three weeks time when we do some more filming i'll um, take a picture of this nail and i will post it in the comments because it should have been uploaded to youtube by then so if i remember i'll post a picture in the comments so that you can see how this nail looks after three weeks uh but go get some crystallis totalis or crystal totalis as it's actually called um and stick massive crystals on all of your clients nails 
don't let them say no. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Don't forget to give us a little thumbs up, hit like on that video, drop any comments that you've got down in the comment section below. And more importantly, make sure you hit subscribe so that you get a notification for all of our future videos. All of the products that I've used today, you can find on our website, which is nelkme.co.uk. And I will see you in the next video.